हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू यू आर एस एस टी चैनल एस एस टी वाला डियर फ्रेंड्स इन टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड यू हैव अ टॉपिक टू राइट अ रिपोर्ट ऑन फील्ड विजिट मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम वाइल्ड राइटिंग द रिपोर्ट दे जस्ट डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट टू राइट इन द रिपोर्ट हियर इज अ कंप्लीट गाइडलाइन दैट हाउ टू राइट अ रिपोर्ट ऑन यूर फील्ड विजिट डियर स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर लिसनिंग दिस फाइव मिनिट्स वीडियो everything will be clear in your mind about the report writing so let's start the discussion about the report writing while uh, starting the report writing the first thing is a introduction so here i will tell you some things or some points that you need to include in your introduction the first thing is important that you need to write that when you visit the site means complete the date in which date you visit that particular site that complete day a date you need to mention there the next thing you mention that is where that site is located means in which city that site is located whether it is located in the agra or pune or mumbai or anywhere else that city name you need to mention in your introduction the next thing you need to mention that is a state who your contact was at the site it means you are going to that place means with someone your contact would have there that about that person you have to write in your introduction you also need to write uh, with whom you went there means uh, you went with your family or you went with your friends or with your teachers that you need to mention there you also have to write how you went there means uh, by which means you went there by train you went or by travel you went that you need to mention in the introduction uh, after that you also have to write the purpose of the field visit means as you are going to visit that place there would be a some purpose behind that so whatever purpose it is that purpose you need to mention and uh i have given you these points but you need to write this introduction in a complete theory form okay then after the introduction your next point will come that is location uh the place which you have visited you need to write the location of that place uh what comes in the location means uh, uh, state or district or city that you need to write for example um, i have visited to agra then what will be the location of agra that is in the uttar pradesh state in agra district and city is also agra understand then after that uh, after writing the location you need to stick the uh, route map uh, for example i went from pune to agra then my map route will be from pune to agra so like that map route you have to stick after that you have to write about the geographic feature of the place you which you have visited and what you have to write uh, under the geographic features whether that region is a mountainous region or that region is a plain region or that region is a hilly region coastal region or a desert region that you need to mention there uh, after the geographic feature you have to write about the climate in climate you can write about the temperature whether the region is hot region or a humid region or a cold region that you have to write you can also write about the precipitation means about their uh, that place rainfall or snowfall hail fall or fog frost uh, anything you can write uh, after the climate you have to write about the plants and animals found in that area uh, here you need to write the some animals name some plants name which you have observed there which information you have taken after visiting that place then after this you have to write about the human settlements in human settlement what you will write whether that settlement is a rural settlement or 
that settlement is a urban settlement which type of houses are there whether kachcha house or pakka house that you need to write there after that you have to write about the occupation means uh, which type of occupation uh, people do there in which type of occupation they engage there whether primary activities or in the secondary activities or in the tertiary activities primary activities means uh, for example agriculture is there or animal husbandry is there or forestry is there fishing is there mining is there in secondary manufacturing is there construction is there in tertiary sector it means a service sector so you need to write how much percent people are engaged in the primary activities how many how much percent people are engaged in the secondary activities and how much percent people are engaged in tertiary activities after this you have to write about the land use students are confused what this what is the meaning of land use land use means how much land of that area means the place which you have visited is used for housing how much percent is used for forest how much use for industries or farming that you need to mention there after that you have to write about the important historical places means the place which you have visited around it there would be some uh, important historical places about that also you have to write suppose uh, i have visited to agra then which historical places are there around the agra uh, for example agra fort is there or akbar storm is there or fatehpur sikri is there so uh, i need to mention it there about the historical places around that then the next point you can write about the environmental problems uh, suppose you get a environment problem there a low quality air Uh, suppose we are we have taken example of agra only so again we will take the same suppose agra what in for environmental problem agra is facing low quality of air then you need to write why that environmental problem uh, has occurred in that reason so because of vehicles or garbage burning or industrial emission etc etc the reason behind the environmental problem you need to explain there and you also have to suggest some measures that how can we solve that environmental problems dear friends after writing these all points wherever necessary means we have discussed many points suppose uh, land use we have discussed or environmental problem we have discussed or occupation we have discussed wherever is necessary wherever you have to write uh, stick graphs pictures Uh, which will support to the uh, information more and more so in this way you have to write the uh, report writing dear friends if you will uh, have this question in the exam then you need to finish it within a one and a half page but if the teacher given you work to write the report then you need to expand your information up to 7 or 8 pages at least 7 pages you have to write but in the exam if it is the same point you have to take but the explanation will be less and in the same way you have to write thank you